This ship will free the Confederacy from the tyranny of the North. Nothing can stop her. I know I should have told you this before. But I didn't think they could do much against the Merrimack. I thought they were so helpless they wouldn't dare fight you. What in God's name are you telling me now? That they can do something? I'm not sure what, but it must be that they have more firepower. More than you'd expect from an 11-inch cannon firing 15 pounds of powder. Where'd you learn about cannonball and powder charges? Not to Baltimore finishing school? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it would hurt you. Oh, please, must you question me? Can't you just listen? I'm listening. What you have to do is make your ship's armor stronger. If she can carry two layers of hind plates, maybe she can carry three. I don't believe what I'm hearing. How do you know all this? Hesley Harmon. The Yankee hero? The Yankee spy that you helped to get into the Navy Yard. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's as simple as that to you, is it? Well, why don't you take the pistol out and fire it in my stomach? It would hurt less. What am I supposed to do with this information? A what? How can I go to my captain with this? When he asks me, how did I get it? What do I say? You say you got it from me. I guess that's what you should do. I guess you have to do what's right. You're a spy, Betty. Don't go talking to me about what's right. I'm only trying to tell you that I love you. I don't expect you to love me anymore. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. The captain's compliments, Mr. Jones. And will you come to the gun deck at once, sir? Take a good look, so you'll know her when you see her tomorrow. Tomorrow, Captain? She's already sailed from New York. She'll be here tomorrow. Gentlemen, whether the monitor will be a match for you or not, we don't know. We do know that your mission is to sink as many blockading ships as possible. And the only time we can be certain that the monitor will not interfere with you is today. Mr. Ramsey, how long will it take to get up steam? One hour, sir. Very well. Captain Buchanan, sir, I beg your pardon, but that doesn't give us any time at all to make changes. What sort of changes do you have in mind? Well, we haven't even had a sea trial yet, sir. How do we know? I mean, there's bound to be a need for some adjustments. Oh, you mean such as to the engines and the steering? Fair enough. We have a chief engineer for that, yeah. Mr. Ramsey. Captain, we have 10 miles down the river before we go into action in the bay. I'm sure we can use that for our shakedown crews. Mr. Jones, we sail in one hour. Yes, sir. All visitors ashore! Visitors ashore! Captain's orders! All visitors ashore! My, isn't this exciting? The Merrimack's going out to sink the Yankees. What Yankees? Well, the blockade ships in Hampton Road. Cast off the bow line.
is our position approaching the mouth of the Elizabeth. These are the positions of the Atlantic Blockading Squadron's most powerful ships in Hampton Roads. Sloop of War Cumberland, 24 guns, and two steam frigates. Minnesota, 47 guns, and the Congress, 50 guns. Well, if indeed the Congress is here, sir, then it should have us in its sights right about now. Captain Smith! Hull, up behind the headland! Some kind of steamship, sir. Captain, I believe that thing is coming down at last. Damned if it doesn't look like a swimming crocodile. How does it strike you, Mr. Pendergrast? Like it can barely float, much less fight. Pipe the crew on deck. Men, this is your chance to show your devotion to our cause, our country, our homes, and freedom. The eyes of the world are upon us today. The Confederacy expects every man to do his duty. Meet the quarters. Stand to your guns. The Union expects every man to do his duty. Beat to quarters. square and the shots bounced off Captain, are we leaving the congress she can wait we already know she can't do as much harm i'm more concerned about those new rifle cannon on the cumberland we'll take her first pilot keep our keel out of the mud i captain
Kelso Bush, back to the Congress. Praying man, Mr. Pendergrast. I am now. choices. Strike the colors or hold out and see every man Jack killed. Opinions? We won't survive another broadside. Surrender, sir. Strike the colors, sir. Very well. Strike the colors! into the Congress. Don't you leave her till she's burning. Yes, sir. Well, she's burning nicely. Now on to the rest of our mission, pilot. Set us a course for the Minnesota. She's run herself aground. Are you sure? 
That's Forbes Bar she's stuck on. There's not enough water over there for a ship the size of the Minnesota at high tide, not to mention now. Well, let's get over to her while there's still daylight to fire the guns by. Mr. Jones, you draw 22 feet of water. That's near as much as a Minnesota. You head over there now, you'll more than likely get yourself stuck in the mud. I can't fire accurately at this distance. On the other hand, it would be poor judgment to put my ship at risk now when the Minnesota will still be there in the morning. Very well. We'll spend the night at Sewell's Point. Hi, Captain. We have slow leakage at the bow where we took some hard hits. Stanchions, railings, boat davits shot away. Smokestacks cut to pieces. There's a number of indentations in the armor and some of the plates are loose, but they're still holding. Well, it don't sound too serious. What is it, Mr. Jones? It's a Congress, Mr. Ramsey. She's still in flames. Good day's work, sir. Yes, but it's not over. We have steam up, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Ramsey. Way anchor. Good, Pilot Patton. Now let's see how close you can get us to her this morning. Hi, Captain. Port, five degrees. Port, five degrees. What in God's name is that? That is the test we face. That is the monitor. Set a course to close the monitor. Right. Starboard, ten degrees. Be in and out. Hi, sir. What is the matter with this ship? Yesterday she was sluggish enough, but today she steers like Noah's Ark. Well, today, sir, she's leaking at the bow. All right, Mr. Sims, if you can manage a shot with just your bow gun, go ahead and take it. I want to see what happens. Into battery. Starboard vent. Close vent. The shot come through. No, sir, it didn't come through, but it made a big dent. Look at this. Mr. Green, the captain says to clear your ports and commence firing. Mr. Keeler, the speaking tube's not working. Captain says you're it. Fire! Mr. Ramsey, I have got to turn faster. Give me more power. Ah, Mr. Jones!
Captain, I suggest circling her to the west. She draws 22 feet. There's not that much water there. Thank you, Mr. Harmon. Come hard, starboard. Turn to port, 30 degrees. Captain, it gets shallow there. I have to line up my guns. Captain, we could turn the other way. Take forever, William. Steady as she goes. Sir, sir, the iron arm on the Merrimack only goes three feet below the water line. The wooden hull's pretty near exposed. Mr. Sims, why aren't you firing? Captain, that tin can is at an angle where we can't bring a single gun to bear. Come on. Mr. Green! Please, Captain says aim for the water line! Oh, no. Hey! and then give them both guns.
might work better for us. Steer directly for her. You gonna ram the Merrimack, sir? Not the monster, just its tail. If we can hit the rudder, she'll be helpless. Steady as she goes. She's making for our stern. She's coming right under your gun. Stand by. Mr. Keeler, go tell Mr. Green. Quartermaster, come north, due north. That'll put us in shallow water. Captain, let's get you down to your cabin, sir. Did we, did we hit the rudder? No, sir. We just missed it. Damn! She's turning away, pilot. Where is she headed? For shallow water, Captain. Well, we can't follow. Well, then she's quitting. Giving up the fight? Looks that way. Well, all right, let's finish what we came here to do in the first place, pilot. Put us on a course for the Minnesota. We can't get near the Minnesota, Captain. Not unless you want to run aground again. The tide's running out real fast, Captain. You don't head back to Sewell's Point right now, you're not going to get over that bar tonight. Get up. Mr. Ramsey. What are our chances? Should we ground again? We could split open at the bow. We have no smokestack left, no draft for the furnaces, no proper head of steam to keep the pumps working at top speed. And should also be considered that these brave men are exhausted. Very well, we will head back to Gosport for repairs. She's quitting. She's giving up. Do you want to go after her, sir? Merrimack never saw action again. Two months after the battle, the Confederacy abandoned Norfolk, leaving the ship without a base. To keep her from falling into Union hands, she was grounded and burned. The Monitor did not survive the year either. In December of 1862, she was ordered to join the Union attack on Wilmington, North Carolina. On December the 31st, in a storm off Cape Hatteras, the Monitor went down with a loss of 16 lives.